Welcome back. Well, do you believe in ghosts? We sent WVVA's Kristen Barty on an investigation checking out a local school building rumored to be haunted. Tonight she shares part one of this special report and introduces us to an expert in paranormal activity. Kristen? Ghosts, are they real or just make-believe? Mark Painter is a local paranormal investigator and he's been searching for the answer for more than 30 years. <laughs> A voice from beyond or just a figment of imagination? Local paranormal investigator Mark Painter believes it is a ghost trying to communicate with the living. In his investigations, he simply wants to talk with the spirits and find out why they are still here. His journey in paranormal investigation started when he had his first ghostly encounter in the Philippines. 1986 and I was escorting a doctor down a hallway in an abandoned hospital. We came around a corner and knew there was nobody there and saw some kind of a shadowy something go into a room and close the door. We went into the room. I was didn't see anybody. I turned to come out of the building, come out of the room, and some voice behind me after I hit my knee said, be careful, it's dark up here. After his first encounter, he began to notice things that he would have otherwise looked the other way. Noises, voices, and shadows that many of us think nothing about could possibly be ghosts interacting with the living. If ghosts are not considered to be living, then what exactly are they? Ghosts are nothing more than energy that can manifest itself in any shape or form. A spirit needs to find some type of energy source to manifest itself. Anything containing batteries or electricity will be used. They will draw any energy that they can from any piece of equipment you have. If you have a microphone, if you have a camera, if you have anything battery operated, you leave the room, everything goes back to normal. You got all your juice back in your equipment. Mark believes that shadow people, orbs, or even misty shapes are some of the forms that ghosts can take. But why do they stick around and not leave after passing on? They don't know where they are sometimes. They may not know they're dead sometimes. Uh, you have to kind of get a conversation with them to understand them in the first place. And that's why we do these investigations. Even when Mark has a conversation with the ghost, there is one question they never answer. I don't want you to be scared, okay? You talk to them, they tell you everything but why they're still here. I've been asking that question for more than 30 years, and I still don't have that answer. Mark has seen firsthand ghosts who are still here and some that think they are still alive and who look at him as an unwelcome guest. Be upset that you come into their house or their building and they may throw something at you or they may hit you as you go by. They may choke you as I have been choked to the ground on several occasions. Even with these bad experiences, Mark is going to continue with his investigations in hopes of finding that answer and maybe help our ghostly visitors find peace. Beaver High School, also known as Central Junior School, has been vacant since the 80s. But are there still ghosts of students and staff roaming the old hallways? We'll show you in the evidence in part two of my investigation into the haunting. And if you can't wait until tomorrow, you can visit our website and see our web exclusive with pictures from investigation. Greg? All right, well, great. Thanks a lot, Chris.